Hey Blancy friends, welcome back to another new video. Today, as you can see, we're gonna go plant shopping at a local plant shop here at San Antonio, Texas. The address will be down below so you guys can go and check it out. They honestly had, this is already like pre filmed they honestly had so many amazing uncommon plants. But um, yeah, so let's just go plant shopping. Hey Blancy friends, so here is this beautiful, I think the Albo Monstera. She is so goddamn pretty. And then look at this alocasia. And I think this is a Flo Florida ghost. Like when you walk in, first of all, it smells amazing. Like I think they use like an aromatherapy, which is so relaxing. Like it really does help the vibe. <laughs> this is a really cute philodendron. I don't know if I, I was so scared to like pick them up. And I think I got brave for this one because I was like so curious that I wanted to see like what it was, but you can barely see the text. So I don't know what it is. It's some sort of philodendron, I'm pretty sure. This is another really, really cool one. It was massive. Like, look at that. Beautiful. It's beautiful. In the middle, I thought it was scale, but it's not. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god. Because it happens, and I would have told them, like, hey guys, is that scale? You might not want to put it next to the ones. But it's not that. Usually, when, especially like these kind of philodendrons, I might, when well, not mine, it really is some sort of sap, and it like scars the plant, but it's perfectly normal though. Like, you don't gotta freak out. It's normal. Um, it feels like I'm not. I don't know if I'm speaking loud enough. Okay, but um, this is another one, philodendron. Yeah, Florida Ghost, $180. That's a big price, but look at those leaves. Like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Look at all that perlite. I just love potting soil with a lot of perlite. I don't know why, it's just like an aesthetic. Again, I wanted to just like pick up other plants, but I was so scared. That one was, I think they say it's $300 for the pink special philodendron, which is not bad. And like, it's nicely barricaded. Like, look at that leaf. Beautiful. Like, they know exactly what, oh, they took a top cutting too. It's beautiful. Um, that table was like, they had so many really cool uncommon plants, even rare plants that I've never seen before. Um, but it was just waste. Like, I was just, I was scared. If I imagine if I picked up a plant and I dropped it. Here's a ficus. I think it's an Audrey, I don't even know. But she is gorgeous. She is gorge. Beautiful, beautiful. There it is, Ficus Audrey, $36 on a six inch pot. Are you gonna show the leaf, David? Oh, so I was right, it is an Audrey. Oh, look at that. I think this is a Tiniki. Right? It looks like a Tanika to me, but we're gonna find out, let's see. Um, oh, it's a Ficus Ruby. $15, that is not bad. Oh, so cute, so cute. Beautiful, gorgeous. They had so many. Ooh, I was struggling to put it back. <laughs> it was very like top heavy. Also, another thing, I don't know how they water all these plants. I, girl, like, Here's another beautiful one. I think it's just some sort of single anywhere philodendron. It didn't have a tag. I think it's a philo. Kind of looks like the single frost, like the, the shape of the leaf. But I just love those veins. Like, look how white. It just, it's so, so loud, like bold, and I love it. And then here's another one. It looks like kind of neonish. It's gorgeous. I just, it's so yellow. <laughs> I don't understand how the plant can like survive, but it was kind of worn down. I think, I think it says, I can't read it out. I think it was 30, $36. I would love to get one of these. I really would. For 36, I would have snatched it. But I, I didn't have any balance. I'm just like window shopping. <laughs> look at that and look at those air roots. Going crazy and everything. And they're also yellow. So, so beautiful. They had some on Stata Perus. Are the green galaxy plants I, oh my god i just love like i had to like move like curtains it was just so lush so pretty wow what else there's a hoya and there was a big basket of a string of hearts here's a mosaic uh that's kind of cute 
cute very healthy looking a lot of notes for $30 that's not bad but we have been seeing a lot of Mosetta Bruce in the big box stores for $20 but if you want one like right now even if you like hunting for it I will 1000% get this but it's a it's, a, it's an amazing plant I love Mosetta Bruce they're just so pretty and like iconic it would be crazy if they had the variegated one like that would have been insane look at that pink princess philodendron like ugh so cute so many hoyas these are the queen i believe because like the white is outside it's like the crown insane. crimson queen i believe super duper cute but i think it's a hoya albo let me see hoya cornosa albo 18 dollars that's not bad looking hindu ropes and they also had the variegated one which is pretty cool 21 dollars that's not bad so 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 pretty it just depends about whenever they get mellies because <laughs> like they they can hide really good in those crevices but it's a beautiful hoya Another fun Hoya. Hoya with Tusa, $30. Very nice and long. They had a really fun propagation wall. And they also have like a little, I don't think it's Ikea. But they have a cabinet with a bunch of like anthuriums inside. This is almost at about 700. Oh my god, I want one so bad. Alocasia, Scandapsis, Ficus, and beautiful photos. And this Alocasia, which I'm gonna show you right now, it looks insane. Like, let's see my recording photos. But this one. And it had a new leaf too. Like, look at that. Is it gonna focus? <laughs> Gorgianus. Look at the little baby leaf. It's like a raven. Like it puts out a green leaf and then it turns black. I've never had this plant, but that's what it's looking because like the leaf is green. Alocasia purple clock. Clock. Thirty dollars. Look at that leaf. Look at those veins. Honestly, that pot looks really, really nice and full. The Alocasia Fridia. This one's, I think it's called an Alocasia Melano. Melo, Melano. It's pretty cool. It's a really cool leaf. And I also love how like that was a really dark leaf and then there was another bright leaf, like side by side. This one. Oh my God. Wait, no. Okay. Here's another one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no. This is because this one looks a lot more fuller. I would have loved to get it. $40 though. Anthurium radicans luxurium something like that look at that leaf look at those stems oh my god it's so pretty like honestly this shop like oh i'm just so happy like i am branching out to like other locations to like the big box stores i still love my big box stores but if i want some like really exciting uncommon plants i know exactly where to go this location if not and the, the where we went yesterday tillage you had some really really great plants that i've never seen before a little bit pricey but at the same time you're supporting local businesses which is pretty cool and 
yeah like they had some pretty pretty good plants they had a bunch of seba blues one of them had a philistration so i don't know if the mother plants that they took cuttings from 18 dollars though had um you know it was like developing mature or it wasn't a moss pole, but like let me show you do you see it the leaf look at that that is a philistration you guys so basically whenever you get a seba blue something to climb on like a lot of other possible philodendrons they would develop illustrations like holes or tears in the leaves which is pretty pretty cool what a beautiful tray of seba blues those scandapsis look nice as well i love a good scandapsis i guess they don't want to get leggy <laughs> oh my god look at you guys look at those anthuriums it looks like a monstera peru but like a little bit different especially with the red stem there's so many plants i this is a philodendron goldie i believe i got mine at rubber gardens for i think 15 dollars this is a nice looking scandopsis like look at this i feel like all scandopsis want to climb like more than anything if not they develop like small leaves also that was the owner she was walking by she is so i think i think she's one of the owners she was super duper sweet Look at that. A nice, healthy scandapsis. For $15. That's not bad. Scandapsis pectus, orange fox. Beautiful green hot leaf adendrons. More of our Maricuin potos, scandapsis. They have it all. Some Arizonias. Oh my god. I love those condapses. Just, I don't know. I, I'm thinking about it. It must be crazy to water all of these plants. Like, imagine, girl. Like, I know it's their job, but like, wow. Like, they're, they're, they, it just shows how, like, how much love they give these plants. I believe this is a silvery ant condapses. Cause like it looks like like a like it's smeared, the variegation, especially when the tips are like that like silverish. I'm pretty sure it's a silvery Anne, which is one of my favorite scandapses, next to the silver splash. And they, oh my god, I would love. I wish they had a silver splash. Like that's one of my wishes plants to find. I do have a baby one. I bought one from Etsy last year and it died. I'm not gonna get to it too soon. <laughs> Look at these Calatheas and marantas but yeah and thank god i took a, a little baby cutting like from the mother plants and that's all i have here's a syngonium confetti or pink splash i always get confused the names of the, of the syngoniums i don't know why but look at that leaf beautiful i just got one of these at the flea market and um it's a little baby one <laughs> like it's like half the size of my hand. It's a little, but I'm excited. Oh, wait. oh, so I'm gonna confetti. Pretty cool. I don't know. I'm just so excited. Like I really, when I get my paycheck, you better expect me to go again to both these locations. And my goal is just get like two plants, if not one plant. It will be good to get one plant for a location, but sometimes it's just hard to only pick one. And yeah, beautiful calathea, fifteen dollars. A rattlesnake calathea. I love the back of the list. I don't think I show you, but they're like a maroon color. And I'm pretty sure you know this, but if you don't, one good thing about Calathea's and Marantos, in the night, they they go up. Like, they call it prayer prayer plants because it looks like they're praying in the night, which is pretty cute. This is another Calathea. The thing is, this one, I've had it three times, and it just dies. Like, I feel like I gotta keep it in sitting in water. Like, I feel like this one is one of the most sensitive Calatheas out there because a rattlesnake calathea does not give me the same problems as this one i don't know what it is but it's so goddamn pretty like look at those leaves and imagine when those leaves get bigger so goddamn striking here's a lemon lime right lemon lime no yeah lemon lime maranta or prayer plant gorgianus like look at that and how much is it four dollars that is not bad that's not bad and look at this the view Oh my god, you guys. And this is only like one-fourth of the store. 
There are so many beautiful plants. Stunning. Again, I just love how they have, they have it all. Like they have so many varieties of potos and calitias and philodendrons and snake plants as you see right there <laughs> and air plants but they had more potos, calitias and phyllos like philodendrons and I love that so much because those are like my main favorites those face pots are really really cool too I don't know if they're cash pots or they have drainage holes and the air plants you guys they were so big and healthy and just massive they oh my god this, I don't like the snakes but I don't like that I should have put that in the back <laughs> I hate snakes but I know some people love it super gorgeous air plants like oh my god and i love the way that they display it and look at those candles like, i know like that's like a trend like it's like a an aesthetic but i've never seen it in candles form which is pretty cool look at this one 25 i'm pretty sure it's for the air plants and the little accessory so good and beautiful i would have gotten the yellow one or the pink one. Oh, and it was blooming which is pretty cool Fun fact, they only bloom once in their lifetime. After they bloom, they start developing pups, which is pretty cute. More, oh, those, oh, I just found out. Do y'all saw those water bottles, like in the back? Empty, like, water bottles? I, I think I saw, I don't know if it was um, Crazy Plant Guy or one of those big um, plant creators. It's like a beautiful mister. Like, people love messing with it. I wonder how much they were selling it for. That's so cool. They also have like jewelry, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I don't wear jewelry, but that's really, really cool. And oh my God, you guys, this is so embarrassing because like the wall fence, look how massive this wall fence is area. And it has a baby for $48. I paid $20 for my little baby one. And I had it for, it's about to be two years. It's not even near as this size. Crazy. Now, I'm still gonna keep it because it's like sentimental to me. Like, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm attached to my little baby wolf in Santeveria. But 1000%. I think if I had to pick a plant, I would have I gotten that one. Because, like, it takes super long for them to get that big from small to big. And, oh my god, look at this view. I also love how they're LGBT friendly. I'm pretty sure I'm missing another one because they added something else on it. But I love that. I love that. I feel comfy. I feel comfortable. I don't feel criticized. And they were super duper chill. Like, they were literally like, 10 feet behind me. And they were just like, you know, minding their own business. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way. And I love how, like, I felt comfortable. Like, I, I didn't feel like I was, like, you know, annoying them or being cringy. Because I feel like it's cringe. This is a beautiful pinstripe Calathea. It's $15, but obsessed with it. I love mine. It's gorgeous. But I feel like whenever I film, I feel like people cringe. Like, they're like, why are you filming it? Like, you're so weird. You know? But I, they made me feel welcomed, basically. And I love that. Like, I love it when plant shops, plant nurseries, they make you feel welcomed, you know? Unlike some other ones, but I'm not getting into that. So this is one, I think this is one of my top number ones. They have an amazing selection. They're super duper friendly. The smell, I think it was like some sort of aromatherapy. Oh my god. I loved it. And the prices are decent. And... Another fun thing, they have the variegated string heart, the variegated string of hearts, which is super duper cool. I think it was like eighteen dollars. I didn't check, and also the string of turtles. They literally have all of my wishlist plants, except the variegated mustard of Peru. Look at this view. I love this. Like I'm one thousand percent going to be coming here more often than any other location, and. I'm just wishing them like the best. Like they look like they were doing amazing. I love it. I love it. Yo, the friends per second were so bad in that. Look at the variegated string hearts, you guys. I always want them. And I, I'm always waiting for the prices to drop. And I still feel like it's a little bit expensive, but at this point, they're everywhere. And for $18 for that size, that's the best I'm gonna get it for. Like honestly, like. I can get it online pretty cheap, but I'm, I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> and they have some other varieties too. Like, I think I see the regular one, the string of hearts. And I think I see another one. They have a string of pearls, string of turtles. 
they have it all look at that oh my god and 25 dollars like come on gorgeous gorgeous i love those leaves they're like like little gummies <laughs> like water gummies I, I don't know i love it oh it had a little sound i don't even notice that they're just i feel like i was here for like i think 15 minutes 20 minutes and it shows like in the video like a lot more because i slowed this video down but i can spend hours in here you know and just like look at each plant because like five dollars each or three four twelve that's not bad look at this i think it's an euphoria euphoria they got like they have so many stuff i love it try this can say i nuke And this was a part when like it was getting really busy like I think four people walked in and then like two other more walked in because in the beginning it was only just me and I was getting shy and I feel like I kept bothering people so like this is I'm gonna end the video like in a couple minutes I'm pretty sure but this is a Belgian fuzzy peritone for 21 I don't have this one I don't think I've ever seen this one and for $21 and it's full like it has multiple babies in it so I can pull one out for my mom look at that you guys oh my god they have so many gorgeous just gorgeous just gorgeous look at those cacti i love it there was like workers i was doing my best not to like put the camera towards them because you know i always try to not make people feel uncomfortable because i know like when somebody has a camera it makes people feel uncomfortable so i was doing my best and people were like i don't know if people were thinking i was filming them but i wasn't here i'm trying to show you these beautiful scandapses like in these massive hanging baskets like insane I was surprised how healthy the pepperonis are. Like, I was gonna ask them, like, how do you care for this? Because, like, literally every time I get one, they die. And this was a little, like, terrarium plant, but I didn't know what this was. I was trying to find the spot where to get it, but then I saw the tag, and I want to show you. Four dollars each. Yeah, terrarium plants. Twinch pots. I'm trying to get it. Let's see. It was very velvety and red. It was so pretty, but I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. And I was like, you're gorgeous. And there was only one left. So, 1000%, if I was building a terrarium, I had to get this one. It's just so pretty. They also had some carnivorous plants, which is pretty cool. But like, look at that plant, it's gorgeous. I think this one, I think it's called Planty with two E's um, shop. And then Green Gates, one of my two favorite locations to go. They're very affordable. And they have so many varieties. These pepperonis look so healthy, especially this one. I was like, this is so lush and beautiful and healthy. Like, look at that. I love this plant so much, but they don't love me. Like I always, they die slowly. <laughs> like they rot, I don't know why. I have made sure they were moist. I tried again and I was watering it when it was drying out. And then I tried again, because they just kept dying no matter what I did. But maybe they need a lot of light. It seems like they're getting a lot of light in this spot. So maybe like they want watering, they want to water when they dry out, but not too dry. And they want a lot of light. That's probably what may, might keep them happy. It seems like some of them were very good at it. I don't know if it was damage or just, for, can you see like the little purple ones? I don't know if it's damage or like irrigation. It's really pretty, I love it. So many, just so many. I love this location, I love it. They had some shingles, I believe. I think they cost shingles, cause like, Costa Roma has them in the big box stores. You're gonna see in a bit. And there's shingles. Um, but first, I think this is a sedum. It looks like, like a sedum, but we're gonna see. I thought it was pretty cool. He doesn't have a tag, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it kind of lo looks like the herb, oregano, oregano. I love the way that smells, the oregano. This is a, I think it's a dragon tail. Because like once the leaves mature, they, or I think it's, it's not fish tail, I think it's a dragon tail. Let me see. Oh, my friends are at the Curse Eye, $16. Cause like once the leaves mature, they start to split, and it's so goddamn pretty. Look at that. I'm 
Okay, here it is. So they have these, which are really, really cool. Monstera Dubai. $90. I don't know. I, it looks like it's like very uncommon, but it's so... They look so good, too. They're getting a lot of lights up. And they had one going up the wall, but I didn't want to like... I tried to show you, but somebody looked at me and I think they were like thinking that I was filming the workers, but I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> um, that's really cool. I love how I like the going up the wall. Look at that. Beautiful snake plants. I see the birds, bird of paradise. Mycans. They have some really nice looking mycans. They were very lush and full for $27. And then, this is another really fun plant. Philodendron Summer Glory, $65. Look at that leaf. Again, and I, they had more, you guys, but I was just too shy to go like more back because <laughs> the employees were there. But an amazing i just i can't say it enough like they had an amazing selection and everything looks so good for decent prices look at that little baby leaf is so cute 